So this is Mr. Tony, and Tony is a lesson horse, he's a riding horse, he's also a carriage horse, uh, which can be very controversial. Uh, there's some people in the equine industry who say, carriages are terrible, they're horrible for these horses, these poor horses. And there are other people, myself included, who recognize that these horses have been bred to work for years and years and years. Uh, these horses love to work. If you ever see Tony work and he's chugging around, he's got a nice swing throughout his rib, rib cage and he's feeling feeling good and has good action while he's moving forward because he loves his job. You know, these carriage horses, when they are well taken care of, so of course, just like any other discipline or any other horse, you gotta make sure that you know your stuff, that you're not overburdening, overburdening them and putting too much on them. And you don't wanna overwork them, but they, they actually do really well with heavy loads of work slowly over long periods of time. And so what that means is they were bred specifically to do farm work initially, right? So they're behind a plow or a, a scraper or a thrasher or a harvester, and they're just working at a walk all day long, right? Uh, versus, for example, like a quarter horse, uh, which has this m massive grouping of muscles in that hind end where they have this explosive power and take off, and they do really short, uh, they're more like sprinters, right? Really short events where they have this explosion of power. Think of uh, barrel racing, right? Think of quarter horse racing. Think of, um, you know, roping, cutting. Like, it's just like this explosion of power, but they can only sustain that for a short amount of time. So you can't look at these guys through a quarter horse lens because that's not how they're built. They're literally built different. So another thing, a lot of people ask me specifically about other areas of the country other than San Antonio and how their carriage industries are. And there's some areas where maybe there has been rebuses reported, but that doesn't go across the blanket of everything. And so it's important to realize that every person is different. And there is a level of horsemanship that's expected when people are working with horses, just like with dogs, you know, there are people who, who dog fight, right? But not every dog owner is a dog fighter and abusing the dog in that way. And so, yes, there's gonna be instances where people maybe are not doing a good job of taking care of the horses, but you find that across all industries. And the hope is that those are outliers and not the norm. And so we have to hold people accountable. We gotta make sure that people are taking good care of the horses because it's super important. I can tell you that in San Antonio, these horses get spa days, right? Where they, where they have a massage therapist that comes out and works with them. Some of them get hydrotherapy. Uh, some of them get all types of like lasers and red, red light therapy and all kinds of really cool stuff in order to make sure that those horses are comfortable as they are doing their job. And so I know that to be specifically true because I've done work with the city of San Antonio to write and work on the ordinances that are now currently used in order to govern these horses. And so they can only work so many hours. They have to get certain type of rest periods. They have to be offered water. They have to have turnout. So there's some certain things that are required of those horses to ensure that they are being taken care of as best as possible. And so you're going to find across the board that there are going to be some people who maybe don't take as good care of their horses, but there are a lot of folks who recognize that these horses are family. And in fact, for working horses, if you've been around working horses, so when I say a working horse, I'm talking about somebody who makes an income off of the work that they have, even more so because that horse is tied to their well-being, you have to take even better care of that horses. Is that true across the board? Not necessarily but it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with using a horse for the job that they were created to do and making sure that you take the best care of them that you possibly can.